It's a new name because we're kind of done with power and because we want Mac in the name of our product. So MacBook Pro. And this is the new MacBook Pro. So some of you are familiar with our current MacBook Pro. As Johnny pointed out, it is the best in class in the industry. This is what most pros in a lot of fields aspire to. Well, hello, you lovely people of the tube web. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the non-unibody MacBook Pro 17-inch 2008 running three operating systems, Mixer, Windows 10, and Android. I'm squeezing the best out of this laptop, as this is my most favorite MacBook model and daily driver for years now. Some might ask why, well, to each their own. I could install Linux, but I already have a MacBook specifically just for that. I have another model running the new Windows 11 and Monterey, but that will be for another video. Of course, I'm not using it for heavy work stuff. Personally, I feel this is the best Intel laptop Apple ever produced. The only downside is the failing NVIDIA graphics chip, which can still be repaired. Mine has a revised board, which was recalled by Apple. The display is gorgeous and has a non-pretentious keyboard. I secured this MacBook at a crazy deal of eBay US at 99 cents, excluding shipping, but I still paid for shipping as I'm not based in the US. Some are being sold for over $150 for a non-revised model. And believe me, this MacBook isn't for everyone. It's freaking heavy to carry it around. But I have no complaints. If you plan on owning one, please make sure it's in working condition. Then get the GPU chip replaced. I will post a full installation guide separately in my future video. So with all that being said, let's get started. Pixel is running on open core. It took me months to get it running back in 2020 before Pixel was officially released with the help of Jack Luke on Mac Rumors forum. In the beginning, when open core was still not stable. And of course, much thanks to the contributors who made all of this possible. I have extremely low expectations getting Pixel to work on this model. I was kind of bumped up when I managed to get Pixel running but it had no acceleration. Acceleration is smoother now than before since Dotania Open Core was released. I've also replaced the old Wi-Fi card with a custom Wi-Fi card including Bluetooth 4.0. More of that in my future video. This MacBook is limited to only run at 6GB DDR2 RAM. Trust me, I've tried different RAM modules. Anyway, 6GB though small is sufficient to run 3 operating systems and run like gaming. And I really love the speakers on the A1261. Apple really put much effort back then to give you quality products that last for decades. Anyway, OS switching will be at the end of this video, so keep on watching. Moving on to YouTube. 1080p resolution is working perfectly fine. I would recommend using Safari or the Edge browser. The purpose of me installing this triple boot operating system is for my own convenience and to show everyone what these old Macs are capable of. Well, not everyone would want to run 3 or 4 operating systems on their MacBooks. Say, for example, if I'm out traveling with this MacBook and Windows 10 decides to fuck up and not able to boot, I could still count on Pixel or Android to continue with whatever I need to do because the three operating systems are installed separately on their own. Anyway, I've seen my iCloud and iTunes on this MacBook. Simply no issues whatsoever. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption soundtrack. Really no kidding, the speakers are really awesome. Dark mode is gorgeous on this display. Ok now let's boot into Windows 10. Need to hold the option key until the drive selector appears. Click on the 
Windows Drive icon. It will proceed to boot into Windows 10. Mine will take a few seconds to load as it is running on SSD. I prefer using crucial SSDs on older Mac model as they are much more reliable and cheaper. Anyway, I mainly use Windows 10 for light gaming. And of course, don't expect Red Dead Redemption 2 to run on this MacBook Pro. Well, I liked. I got it running via Xbox Game Pass. Just download the Xbox app on the Microsoft Store and you're good to go. Alright, now I'm gonna launch a classic game which most have played years ago. The Simpsons Hit and Run. The game runs perfectly smooth with no issues. I'm gonna do a quick play of the game to show you how well it runs. Sims 4 for PC. 
I've watched another YouTuber mentioning this game runs poorly on these old models. Well, it fucking runs just fine. Now, for my favorite old school PC game. Constantine. Whenever I bring this MacBook for traveling, this will be the game of choice to pass time if I'm waiting for my flight at the airport. The game works really well. I'm gonna do reaction, review, and gaming video, so if you haven't pushed that subscribe button, you should do now. Alright now, I'm gonna do a short gameplay of Constantine. this video so far, let's move on to the last game. This is another classic game you definitely played many years ago. Damn, my cat just walked past like he's the boss. I'm gonna do a short gameplay of it.
Sultan with Windows 10. Well now, we're moving on to Android operating system. Reboot the Mac and hold the Option key until the drive selector appears. Click the Windows Drive icon again. Android will boot. I've chosen Prime OS as my primary Android system. Once again, full installation guide will be released in my future video. So please, subscribe. I mainly use Android for my entertainment, live TV and movies. I'm gonna load up a classic game, Angry Birds. touchscreen capabilities, but it's fine the way it is. From my years of experience doing tech repairs, laptops with touchscreen gets damaged easily. I get it, Windows 11 will feature Android apps, but it's still in its infancy. I will definitely keep watch on the developments. This system has a working Play Store, so it's convenient for me to download Android apps. I've installed a random app that streams live TV channels. There are thousands of such apps that you can download, but unfortunately, I'm not able to share to avoid copyright. YouTube Android app plays 1080p smoothly. I've always binge watched Yes Theory channel as they're my most favorite guys on YouTube.
Okay, so now let's reboot into Windows. I'm really glad you're still watching the video. Much appreciate it. Now hold Option key until the drive selector appears. drive icon I'm able to select which OS I wish to put into either I put in Windows 10 or Android save it. Transfer the file onto a drive that I created so I can continue writing it on macOS if I'm lazy to boot into Windows. Save the file onto a drive called Fusion. Now restart your MacBook and put into Big Sur. Until the drive selector appears. I'm going to launch Finder and click on my Fusion Drive. I'm able to see the document I saved previously on Windows 10 now appear on Big Sur. It's done. I do hope you enjoy this video and hope it gives you a new perspective on this obsolete vintage MacBook Pro. Hope you can subscribe and share my videos to your friends and family so this channel can grow. I have many videos lined up and will be releasing it slowly. I will definitely improve the quality of my video as well. Keep watching this video till the end. It's a preview of what's coming up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, stay safe.
supposed to be the Skull's territory. I'll find Uncle Ben's killer if I have to go through every one of the Skulls to do it. <laughs>